is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 13 of Delicious Party Pretty Cures. It's gonna get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, so, it makes me wonder, because thank god I did not get spoiled on this episode and such, but I wonder, did we get to see a transformation? I need to see it today. If we did get it. I love the fact that they have moles on Oxus's side. That's so cute. Yeah, more fraternal twins. It's cute. We better see a transformation scene today. Give me my tuxedo mask looking Sailor Moon-ish today for this boy. I need it. I've been waiting almost a whole week to see this. I gotta see it today. Please, I beg you. <laughs> Oh, hi, Cody. <laughs> You go play. Nah, he don't really want to be friends with my... <laughs> That could be her dream. Being, you know, she could be a food critic traveling around the world. Is there a problem about that? <laughs> it's 
So you're basically telling me your dad gave that to you? So then wait, what if his dad knows Rosemary? Oh. I love the fact that we're getting this, like, oh. It has to be. Can't use it now, but something tells me by the end of this, he's gonna use it. That's so cute. Mm -mm. <laughs> He's so cute. Mm. 
you had a secret like that, you know, at that time you didn't know about, but eventually you did learn. See, he sounds like one of the older brothers. It's the one that is on my right hand side when we first met them, in a way. <laughs> it's not the same though. Gentle did it so much better. I'm sorry, I have faves. <laughs> Girl, I mean, damn, you ate it all. <laughs> That's very strange. It's never really affect a person at the same time before. Normally it just affects why they're eating it or like, hey, it doesn't taste good or anything. But now, oh, okay, okay, now I get it, I get it. Gentle did it how, where it affected the taste. 
he's now doing it where it affects their memories. Got you. Got you. Okay. Okay. Different. But then I wonder, why do... <laughs> why do the memory? Unless he has an important food memory that he hates, you know? They always remember the reason of why they ate it. Hurry. How many more minutes we have left? We got five minutes left, and I feel like we're gonna end in a cliffhanger. Oh, that's just great. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to work.
wait. Time out. Time out. Time out. Hold up. They, they showed him, but not really. It was just a game. Oh my god. I can't wait another week or a couple more days just to see him officially talk to her like this. Yum yum, that is a very mine thing to say. See, but it makes me wonder, how is this going to go when she finds out that his secret identity, because he already knows about Yui, so it's like, when is she, what is she going to find out? Are we, because, okay, now we're going, once again, because this is also made by the same company, aka SM, um, we're going to get that moment between them, so if I had to say a number, maybe by episode 30, we might find out, or, you know, Yui might find out about Takumi, aka her best friend slash love interest, that, you know, hey, he's a little bit of a tuxedo mask looking, you know, he ain't getting no transformation, so he probably ran up in there and then decided to change, but still, you know, we might still get a transformation later on down the line. I still want to see it, though, because, hey, we need it. We need more magical boys in the universe, in the world today, because I love it, and ish, we deserve it, I'm just saying, but, I mean, the episode went by really fast, in my opinion, um, I do love the fact with our new <laughs> main, second main baddie, that he takes the memories of the food that is attached to a person, instead of making the food bad like gentle did that was interesting but doing the memories and like having someone forget i think is like superior very very superior and, and very different very very nice and i cannot wait to see like let's say it's like pudding or something and you know somebody really loves pudding and then you get upset because they don't remember why they love pudding Something also tells me that Takumi is going to tell that girl, like, unfortunately, there's somebody I already like, but he's not going to say who it is. But of course, we as the audience, we're going to know because it is Yui. He does have feelings for Yui. And it it's more kind of one-sided because I feel like Yui kind of has feelings for Takumi, but not in, like, it is very similar to Nozamine, well, no, Nozamine and freaking what's-his-face, um... It was kind of there with those two. Really more of a... Urara and a... Dude. I don't remember his name because... Uh, ish. But going into relationships in this series, like I think the, the other one that I can kind of compare it to is Ichika 
and um, Picario from Kitty Kitty Picario uh, a la mode, where that was very much one-sided, where people shipped them. Of course, I was one of them as well, where I was like, oh, they look cute together, but we never really kind of, they had chemistry, and you could see that chemistry anytime when they were on each other um, together in the episodes and such, that they had them in together, but they never really, um, Toy Animation never really decided to do something with them. And what I'm kind of hoping that they do with both Yumi, Yui and Takumi is that they finally say, hey, it's been so many years that we've done this series for a long time. Let's finally have like a couple be together in this show. Whether it is same sex, heterosexual, whatever they want to do. Because we all know in Kitty Kitty Pretty Carla mode that, you know, Yukari and Akira, they got married after that show was over, right? We all know that. That is canon. We are putting it in there. It officially happened. You know, we, we, we didn't see the wedding, though, but it officially happened. So, you know, they're married and freaking um, Madoka, or I think it's Nadoka. Nadoka and um, what's her face from Hagato Pretty Here are their kids because they literally remind me of both of them straight up. Straight up. <laughs> like, no matter how many times. And, and it was funny because I think they both had an interaction in the last movie where it was the All Stars and Star Twinkle was the newest thing that they had to do. And it, I think it was either. Kira Kira's last movie as that new Pretty Caress group for like the three most recents and stuff. Yeah, and that made me sad. Oh my god. But yeah, I'm really hoping that we kind of get that little confession from Talk Me. If we don't get it by next week, eventually we're going to see something where he possibly does confess to Yui and such. We're probably going to see these two together by the end of this series. I wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me. So, of course, it is going to happen because. They are the love interest of this show, so I, I do want to see a little more, like, romantic ass moment moments with these two in the next up-and-coming weeks. It could be, you know, sidetrack with, you know, our lovely Gentle coming back in and her story in Ish, because I know we are getting closer and closer to her Final Cures appearance in this show, so she, could, she should be coming in, like, the next couple of weeks, because... I think early a couple of hours ago, I saw um, on Twitter the um, the episodes list that are supposed to be coming out for the next couple of weeks. So, so, so she could be coming like mid June, going on to maybe like the first couple of weeks of January. No, January, what the heck? July. There we go. There we go. But yeah, we just gotta wait and see. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode thirteen. Of Delicious Party Pretty Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially on Saturday, maybe even Sunday night for episode 14. Bye, guys.